All right, so mathematicians, you guys have been solving a lot of problems with Mrs. Martin, know your teacher, right? Mm -hmm. And you've been unpacking them, reading them, and making sure that you understand them with Mrs. Martin? Yes. Okay, good. Well, the reason I'm here is because I know that I've been helping you and Mrs. Martineau's been helping you unpack problems and so that you can understand them and solve them. But I was wondering, what would you do if Mrs. Martineau wasn't here or if I wasn't here? You would have to do it by yourself, wouldn't you? Yes. That's right. And I want to make sure that when you are by yourself, you know exactly how to unpack or understand a problem so that you can solve it all by yourself. So today, I'm going to show you how I unpack problems and how I think about them, and that's how I figure out how to solve them. So I'm gonna show you how I do that, and then we're gonna try one together. Got it? Because I wanna make sure if you're taking a test, or if you're at home doing homework, or you're by yourself and you're reading something, I wanna make sure that you know how to read that problem understand that problem and solve it. So watch how I unpack. I'll go first. You guys just watch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the whole problem. Okay? Then I'm going to go back and read it line by line. And then I'm going to tell you what I just read. So watch how that goes. Dr. Miller brought blank books to Mrs. Martineau's classroom. She wants to share the books equally with blank students. How many books will each student get? Did you see how I read the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read and stop at the ending punctuation. And when I get to the ending punctuation, I'm going to envision, I'm going to make a picture in my head of what's happening in that sentence. Because if I can make a picture in my head or envision, that helps me understand the problem better. So I'm going to read and envision and stop so I can understand the problem better. Watch <coughs> how I do that. Dr. Miller, well I know Dr. Miller, our principal, I'm sure his glasses. Dr. Miller brought books to Mrs. Martineau's classroom. <coughs> so let me envision, Dr. Miller, brought some books, so I can envision her carrying a big pile of books in her hand, and she walks through that door. And she says, hi, boys and girls. All right, so I can envision Dr. Miller bringing a whole big armload full of books to Mrs. Martineau's classroom, right here. She wants to share the books equally with blank students. Stop right there and envision. So let me make a picture in my mind. So she, Dr. Miller, okay, Dr. Miller wants to share the books equally with the students, equally. <clears throat> the same, equal means the same. So she wants to share the books with the students and they'll get the same. So I can see her going, here boys, one girl, here's one for you. Oh, I can see her passing out those books to all the students. How many books will each student get? books will each student get? So now I need to look around and see how many books the students got. Okay. Did you guys see how I did that? Did you see how I read and I stopped at the ending sign and I made a picture in my mind? Okay. So now I need to check with myself. I need to check and make sure I really understood this whole problem. So I'm going to retell it in my own words. So when I read this, that made me think that Dr. Miller has some books that she wants to share with all the kids. And I want to find out how many books the kids got. How many of you guys saw me retell that story using my own words? Did I read every single word here, or did I use my own words? I used my own words. And that's exactly what I want you to try. I want you, we'll do it together, to read the whole thing. Then we're going to go back, stop at the ending punctuation, and envision in our mind, make a picture of what's happening, because that helps us understand better. And then when we're all done, we're going to go back and retell what this was about using our own words. Shall we try it together? OK, so now you guys are going to help me. Ready? Here we go. Here is our problem to do together. Make sure everybody can see. Can everybody see that? Yes. All right, so what do we 
we going to do first? Read the, read, read, read the whole problem. Let me take this down so I can make sure you guys can see the whole problem. All right, here we go. Mrs. Read with me. Mrs. Marginal had parent conferences for blank days. She met blank parents every day. How many parents did Mrs. Marginal meet? All right, so we read the whole thing. So now, if you guys were by yourself, you would go back Read every sentence and stop at the period. And we're going to envision when we're done. So let's read this sentence. Mrs. Mrs. Marginal had parent conferences for blank days. Let's stop and envision. So Mrs. Marginal had parent conferences. Right, turn and talk. What did you envision? I Okay. All right, let's go to the next sentence. You ready? Here we go. Yes. How many 